everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flutter Mouse. I get a lot of questions on my other Mercury videos whether it be possible to walk on the surface of Mercury, in this case not the planet, but the element. Mercury seems to be nature's joke on the scientist. The only metal that is liquid at ordinary room temperature, it still outweighs most solid there ones, including lead. Volume for volume, among all the substances you may encounter in your everyday life, only a few such as platinum, gold, tungsten, and iridium are heavier than mercury. Although it runs like water and exhibits a surface tension, it does not wet any object that it comes in contact with. Now I would call mercury an obsolete element. In the past, mercury was used pretty extensively for most commonly thermometers, but also manometers, barometers, Sphigno manometers, blah, blah, probably screwed that one up, but uh, also mercury switches, mercury uh, relays, but because mercury is a hazardous, nasty, uh, toxic material, it's been replaced by non-hazardous things, mostly electronic devices, um, solid state relays, and um, you know pressure transducers and the like. Now people always ask me where I get my mercury from. I bought a lot of it off eBay about 15 years ago buying um, broken mercury contactors. But seriously, consider the toxicity and everything and do you really want to have something like that around your house? Now before we start discussing whether we can actually walk on this very dense metal, mercury is almost 14 times denser than water. And um, we're going to take a look at some objects that will float in mercury. Now this 50 BMG bullet weighs 1.6 ounces or 45 grams. And it floats on mercury like it was made out of balsa wood. And we can see what's going on a little better in slow motion. And you'll notice that the mercury just kind of repels off the surface of the bullet doesn't wet it at all. Okay, now here we've taken a little bit of water and put it on the surface of the mercury and we dunk our finger in and it takes a little bit of effort. It feels kind of strange and I would say the the best way to describe it is like sticking your finger in a bowl of jello. Now, of course, a golf ball normally sinks in water, but to submerge it in mercury, it takes a lot of force, and it was, it's just an absolute bizarre feeling. It takes probably about f at least five pounds of force to push it down and submerge it, and that was just a really weird sensation. Get the bike, put it, mm -hmm. get it down there. Now when we drop the golf ball into the mercury, it creates a little splash and bobs around like a ping pong ball would bob around on, on water. Very, very buoyant. Next we'll take a very heavy solid steel ball bearing. This weighs over 7 ounces or about 200 grams for the rest of the world. And um, at least 50% of its surface is still above the surface of the mercury. and. Um, it does take a little less effort to sh submerge it, less than the um, golf ball, but still, it kind of defies your senses when you when you try to submerge it. Next, we'll put a very large socket in the mercury. Well, that's pretty large, and we'll try to stand it up on the, on the surface of it, and it really just kind of um, balances itself out and is partially submerged, just like the ball bearing. In other words, the socket finds its natural equilibrium with the mercury. Now since the human body is mostly water and, and relatively buoyant in comparison to mercury, um, if we were to try to actually stand on mercury, our bodies would also try to find equilibrium, probably submerged to the point of our 
knees possibly or crotch and uh, you know you couldn't actually stand on it. Now, small spiders and insects can walk on mercury simply because they're light and they, ha they distribute their weight very well. Now for us humans since most of our mass is in our upper body we'd eventually fall over and we'd float around like a cork. It'd probably feel a lot like a waterbed if anyone remembers those things or this bullet trying to balance that standing straight up. As far as walking on it, mercury would be impossible. Now since you've made it this far in the video, I will share with you a little secret I have. In almost all my videos I purposely spill mercury and that is for the sake of people who aren't really paying attention and it's kind of funny to see people's heads explode and freak out because they assume that I am spilling it all over the ground and that's not the case. We actually use a lot of precautions to prevent it from spilling on the ground and this is how we clean it up afterwards. We use a syringe and s submerge the mercury under a thin layer of water. That makes it a lot easier to suck up than to do it dry. Anyway, thanks for watching.